In, on megrim, sick headache, and some allied disorders, a contribution to the pathology of nerve storms, by Edward Living, the author delves into the intricate nature of various neurological disorders, primarily focusing on megrim, which is commonly known as migraine, and its related afflictions. Living's work, though published in the 19th century, retains relevance due to its insightful exploration of these conditions. One of the notable aspects of Living's analysis is his recognition of the multifaceted nature of megrim. He elucidates how megrim encompasses more than just the headache itself, but also includes a spectrum of symptoms ranging from visual disturbances to gastrointestinal discomfort. This holistic understanding underscores Living's meticulous observation of the disorder. Moreover, Living delves into the underlying pathology of megrim, attributing its manifestation to disturbances in the nervous system. He proposes that these disturbances, which he refers to as nerve storms, arise from various predisposing factors such as hereditary predisposition, irregularities in bodily functions, and external stimuli. By elucidating these factors, Living lays the groundwork for a comprehensive understanding of megrim and its associated disorders. Furthermore, Living's analysis extends beyond mere description, as he endeavors to elucidate the mechanisms underlying the onset and progression of megrim. He postulates that the disorder stems from a morbidly sensitive state of the nervous system, wherein trivial stimuli can precipitate significant neurological disturbances. This hypersensitivity, according to Living, renders individuals susceptible to recurrent attacks of megrim. In addition to megrim, Living explores related disorders such as sick headache, which he perceives as a variant of megrim characterized by its association with gastric disturbances. Through meticulous clinical observation, Living delineates the distinguishing features of sick headache, thus expanding the scope of his analysis beyond conventional boundaries. Living's work also contributes to the broader discourse on neurological disorders by highlighting the significance of individual susceptibility and environmental influences in their etiology. He emphasizes the role of hereditary predisposition in predisposing individuals to megrim, underscoring the interplay between genetic factors and environmental triggers in the pathogenesis of the disorder. Moreover, Living's emphasis on the psychosomatic aspects of megrim foreshadows contemporary understandings of the disorder, which acknowledge the intricate interplay between psychological factors and physiological processes in its manifestation. His recognition of the influence of emotional states and mental exertion in precipitating megrim attacks underscores the nuanced nature of the disorder. In conclusion, Edward Living's, On Megrim, Sick Headache, and Some Allied Disorders, A Contribution to the Pathology of Nerve Storms, offers a comprehensive analysis of megrim and its related disorders, drawing upon meticulous clinical observation and insightful theoretical speculation. Through his holistic approach, Living sheds light on the complex interplay of physiological and psychological factors underlying these conditions, thereby enriching our understanding of neurological pathology.